Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Oni and I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a chandelier out of stuff you have in your house. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your cabinet, get a container of applesauce, get on a chair, put the container of applesauce up to the light that you want your chandelier. Do we have a match? Yep, we do. So now we can start the DIY. I hope you guys like that little montage. I thought it was cute. I don't know. I'm trying new things, you know? Give with, give with the vibes. Anyways, <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do, we're going to um, make our base. So this ring comes from a floral wreath. Um, if you guys go to Dollar Tree, they have like the floral wreaths ring things and there's like three or four um, Circles that are connected by a bridge. So I disconnected them from the bridge and now I found the Joint point where the wire is connected to make the circle and I just snapped that um, So you'll only need your wire cutters if you are trying to disconnect it from the um, From the bridge, but I already had these disconnected because I was gonna use it for a different DIY that didn't end up working out so it was perfect for this so i'm happy anyways so now we're going to take the container that we are going to use as the um i guess model for the size of the chandelier or size of the light that we're using to put the chandelier on it just so happened that this wire was actually perfect uh because all i had to do was wrap it around itself twice meaning the ends of the wire i just had to wrap it around and meet them together so that it worked perfectly for me but if you don't um have like a perfect size then you know you just find the size and then cut it with the wire cutter so that's another reason why i didn't need the wire cutters because the wire was perfectly sized so now i'm just trying to make it as circular as possible i mean it's going to be on the ceiling sis like people aren't going to look up and be like oh it's a little askew um so it's okay if you can't get it perfect but you know we try to get it as circular as possible and so after I mend everything together, I'm going to try to connect the points together. I tried to do this with glue, which is what you'll see in a second. And girl, that was a whole fail. So <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> um, but what I ended up doing was using wire. So you guys see the wire that's on the right hand side. I have two gauges. Not quite sure what the gauge are. I think the one that I ended up using was 18 gauge don't know like i said this stuff i made it out of stuff that i had in my house so this was just things i had on hand that i've had for years and i ended up putting it together to make this chandelier um so use a smaller gauge though that's what i will say because the bigger the gauge the uh, less malleable it is which is the harder to wrap it around the wire which is what you're trying to do you need it to be as tight as possible um so you need something that's thinner so that you can really pull and do all those other things so i use my jewelry pliers to uh just kind of push everything together and make sure that's not going anywhere and it hasn't i was so glad that i used this wire i had it on hand so now now, I guess it's not a chandelier DIY for me if we don't use painter's tape. So I ended up using painter's tape because I wanted it to be more smooth. I was definitely hesitant to do it. I didn't know if it would work, but you know, you gotta try. So I did try and it ended up working perfectly. I originally wanted duct tape, but I didn't have it. Uh, but now that I think about it, I do think that painter's tape is the best tape to use for this DIY. So I'm going around and make sure the thinner the better um, because it'll be a lot easier for you to um, get it around the circle if you have like thinner strips. So just cut them up, cut them up. And now we're going to cover up that blue painter's tape. And we're gonna do it with some ribbon. I actually got this ribbon from um, my towels. My mom bought me some towels, thanks ma. And um, this ribbon, it was packaged in this ribbon. So I saved it cause I was like, I could definitely use it for something else. And it came out perfectly. I'm so happy I kept it because I needed it for this DIY. And so I just used um, hot glue. I didn't use E6000. Do it if you want to. That's not what I did. Uh, I didn't feel like it. So now it's time for the fun part to add some crystals. So like I said, I will reiterate this to you all. These are things that are in my house. So especially when it comes to the crystals, the pendant, I think the crystal pendants, I think I'll be able to link because um, I believe I got them from Amazon. Hopefully they're still available though because I definitely did get them a couple years ago. 
but um these this like reflective stuff that you see here this came from an old chandelier that i had that i bought and um, it's actually supposed to be used for like outside it had like a little a battery pack it had lights that came with it and everything and I um, disassembled it to get the crystals so with that being said I'm gonna try to link the closest thing I think I'm just gonna link like the clear crystal um, string because I don't think that I could find this this literally came from something I had in my house but the point of this video is to show you guys that you don't always have to go out and buy something to make something different make something beautiful or be creative um, creativity comes from limited resources so I just wanted to show you guys that you can do a little something something and you know make it look cute or whatever so for this as far as the crystals go I started with three and then I added one every single time to get to a total length string of like 22, I believe, um, to get this staircase, winding staircase look thing. That's what we're gonna call it, cause I don't know what it's called, so I'm calling it winding staircase. And that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. It is what it is. <laughs> so anyway. I do want to make sure I do want to point out however at the end there's always gonna be a clear crystal and then the crystal pendant and you guys will see that hopefully you saw it in the beginning of the video um, that there's always a crystal and then a crystal pendant because I did want some type of uniformity because there are some clear crystals throughout these um, like this crystal string I don't know that's what I'll call it so now after I get everything on there, I'm going to try to make them all equidistant and then I'm gonna tack them down. And the reason we wanna tack them down is because we don't want them to move, especially to try to get the effect that we're trying to get. We wanna make sure that everything stays in place. So that's what I'm doing right now and trying to make sure that everything is good. Um, and then I'm gonna tack it down with hot glue. Like I said, you could do E6000, but your girl use hot glue because she's impatient. <laughs> so after we do this, we are going to add some um, pieces, some small pieces of cardboard because we want to make sure that the mounting tape, which is what we're using to mount this thing, is flush. Um, it's a lot easier for it to adhere to the cardboard than it is for it to adhere to the hot glue and it's just not a smooth surface I just didn't want this thing to fall so that's what I did and I uh, also adhered that with hot glue again you can use e6000 if you want to I, I'm not <laughs> so it's very important I said this in my wall video um, my mirror wall video which if you haven't seen it girl check it out because it is so fire it is so fire I promise you you will love it um i said that you have to clean your surface with alcohol so that's what i did and then i put it up and girl look at this oh i'm so happy but we're not done okay so don't click off the video because we're not done you see the top and you see how light is coming out that is not a good thing that is a no-no um you can see the what is that called you can see the cardboard pieces you can see that i have like something else up there to attach it. so you see i'm pointing to it that is a no-no so we're gonna cover it up with washi tape and some cardstock and this came from some packaging that i had if you have like cereal boxes that's very similar to what i use and i cut out the right size and then i put the washi tape over it which i got from a grab bag a michael's grab bag and so i was so excited because literally isn't this perfect like isn't this perfect it looks so good and so I tack it down with some glue uh, with some hot glue and I do it to the chandelier not the wall not the ceiling to the chandelier okay make sure that's to the chandelier and so this I'm about to show y'all the final look you guys and this is how I made the chandelier shout out to the person who kind of knew that this video was coming out next because I've been working on it for a minute but yes you guys this is oh my god it's so pretty I love it so much um thank you guys so much for watching this video comment like subscribe girl do all the things click the notification bell because I'm posting videos every Friday and I will see you guys in my next one Peace.